Welcome to this Australian Earth Science Education video about making magma. The Earth's mantle rock is a slowly convecting solid. However, it may melt if the pressure is lowered, like at a mid-ocean ridge. If the temperature is increased, like at a hot spot, or if other substances act as a flux and lower the melting point, like at a subduction zone. In this video, we are going to model decompression and flux melting. To model decompression melting, you will need blue tack, a large syringe, hot water, a small bowl, and a probe thermometer. Before beginning the experiment, consider the risks. Hot water can cause burns, so don't use boiling water and handle hot water with care. Pour hot water into the small bowl and then draw some into the syringe. Use a quarter to a third of the total syringe volume. Plug the end of the syringe with blue tack and also hold your finger over this end. Now pull back on the plunger, lowering the pressure in the syringe. The bubbles are boiling water, not a leak. When pressure is reduced, the boiling point is lower. Unplug your syringe and measure the water temperature. How warm was your boiling water? To model flux melting, you will need a variety of lollies, a frying pan, small saucepans, and water. I also use a spoon to stir my mixtures. Before beginning the experiment, consider the risks. Hot metal and water can cause burns. Use a hot pad when handling the pans and stir the mixtures carefully. Mix up the lollies and place the mixture in your small saucepans. Place the small saucepans into the fry pan on the stove top. Add water to one saucepan and turn on the heat. As the mixtures heat up, stir them to see if any of the lollies, our model minerals, are melting. Do you notice any differences in the melting of model minerals as the heat increases? We used water in our model of flux melting because water is released from sediments on top of the subducting oceanic plates and acts as a flux to lower the melting point of minerals in the mantle. The mantle undergoes partial melting. In the flux melting model, we have not really achieved flux melting. Water conducts heat more effectively than air, so the heat is spread more efficiently to our model minerals. You can model true flux melting by placing salt on ice. However, the lolly model is more colorful and tastier. We hope you've enjoyed this Australian Earth Science Education video. For more videos, blog posts, and resources, visit our website at ozearthed.com.au.